And I'm back with even more Red vs. Blue reactions. A quick note, I finally managed to get the audio from the RVB video into this current video so you'll have somewhat of an idea of what I'm reacting to, better than just the choppy video. But fun note, that makes it harder to hear the audio coming in from my mic. So it may be a little bit more quiet than you're used to, and I'm so sorry for that. I'm going to try to fix it. But for some reason, my computer decided to crap out on me and not work with my actual microphone these past couple times. I can't run OBS and a blue ice microphone at the same time, apparently. Which is, you know, fantastic in a horrible kind of way. So I'm going to try to speak louder and speak more into the microphone. So I apologize for the decrease in audio quality, but at least you guys will be able to hear, at least quietly, what is going on in the background. I'm just going to raise it a little bit, actually, so you can get just a tad more than what it was, just in case. I've heard great things about this episode. I think Ollie has been screaming at me to watch it for forever and i believe this episode is 50 shades of red and it is the third episode in the season i believe and it involves sarge and someone else but I, that's all i've been told i have been fighting against spoilers for the past couple days and so without further ado it begins damn 50 shades of red <laughs> Please tell me we see Baby Sarge. Good afternoon, gentlemen. My name is Special Officer Lemons. Command Lemons. has seen fit to gather you here today because we believe that each and every one of you exhibit the specific traits... Is that John Reisinger? ...in commanding officers. Oh. Now, this is not your standard officer's training course. Today we are looking for one man and one man alone to lead a newly formed team <laughs> against the Blue Devils. Sir, yes, sir. The Blue Devils. <laughs> Oh boy. And I want to know exactly what it is you hope to achieve during your time here oh in the Red Army. Oh boy. And Johnson McGruff, my primary directive is to seek, destroy, and completely eradicate any members of the Blue Army. Sir, Hank Dagger Knife is the name, and killing blues is my game, sir. Large, reporting for duty, as far as I'm concerned. I I'm sorry, your name is Sarge? Name yep. is Sarge? Pappy always told me to dress for the job you want. I figured I'd just take it a little bit further. <laughs> Damn, I respect that. The right. name of the job you want? Um, how about we just skip the introductions and get right to the trial? <laughs> he just, no, it just, he just face gives face. up right after that. Oh, you got me. Well, oh my god, they're like clones. It's like a Sarge family reunion. What is this? Right, men, from this point on, the kitty gloves are officially off. Kitty gloves? Oh, I, th I thought I meant cat gloves. That's awkward. Under pressure. Are we being deployed to a planet with increased gravitational force? Don't be ridiculous. Clearly, we're being sent to an underwater base. Underwater. The job, sir, was stationed at Port Florida. Undersea pressure was enormous. Port Not Florida? that kind of pressure. This vehicle has been fitted with an IED. One of the tasks with diffusing the explosive, while another will be in charge of walking you through the diffusing process Ooh. step by step. Oh god, you someone's gonna blow up. Bomb diffusal manual and toolkit. But the success of this operation will depend entirely upon your communication. Someone's gonna fucking die. Corporal Buckshot. Sir, yes, sir. Buckshot. <laughs> you will be our diffuser. My pleasure. As for your lead. Uh oh, 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 permission to volunteer, oh. sir. Sarge, oh. I like your attitude. This isn't gonna end well. What you got. Oh. explosive. Live fire exercise begins in three. Oh two, boy. One. All right, Sarge, I see the device. That's the first step. <laughs> seconds. Ready. I'm gonna guide you through this and get you home to your family. That's a promise. McGruff, I need you to find me an M7057 defoliant projector. Roger what? That. On it, sir. What? What? Keep your eyes on those clips. What does the projector have to do? He's not doing his job, Sarge. No. <laughs> Did Sarge become qualified for this mission by blowing up a poor fucker who had the misfortune of being his victim? Also, why is the Red Arm Army commander not wearing red armor? Like, I guess it could be like very, very, very dark red, but like. Step one, do not panic. That's 24 seconds. That's not the final seconds. Step one. Oh my god, it's a shark blowtorch. Oh no. Uh, that computer had the diffusal instructions. Oh no. Why would you step one? No cheating. 
No cheating! He's not gonna march his way to victory by looking up the answers in the back of the book! <laughs> He's not gonna march his way to victory, he's gonna get blown up past right, victory! Oh... Sturdy piece of military equipment. Rest in pepperonis, amigo. You're focused on the jeep. Buckshot is dead. You, you let him explode. Well, that may be true. Clint Buckshot knew the risks when he volunteered. He died. He didn't volunteer. He died in a training accident. In a damn fine one of that. I think I saw all of us, including the dead Clint Buckshot, that we're ready for our next objective. Oh my god. These exercises really get the blood flowing. I'm They're all following him absentmindedly. They're just. Oh, yeah. He established himself as the alpha. By killing a man. And they all want to die like Buckshot now. Oh my god. I'm pretty sure it goes without saying. If there were any dirty blues within 100 miles of this facility, we'd find them and we'd paint them red. Am I right? Oh my god. Florida. They're all idiots. <laughs> the Blues are here for their interviews? Well, that is just stupendous. Right on time, too. I am such a sucker for punctuality. I am such a sucker for I'm punctuality. The greatest dream is my love for following rules. I'm a great listener. Go on, tell me something and I'll remember. What? You mean like physically? I can bitch a clean 200, no problem. Do a couple hundred reps every day. 40 cock push-ups, no big deal. Where do I see myself in five years? Hopefully with your job. <laughs> cock push-ups? Uh, well, no matter where I end up, I bet I'll still remember that thing you told me because I'm such a good listener. Five years? Ugh, hopefully I'm not dead. Oh, I'm saying like five years worth of chicks by then. Am I oh right my god, Gosh, Tucker. Why did I join the military? You know, I just wanted to make a difference. Fight for my fellow man. I wanted to show up how great a listener Candidate one, The candidate one is me. I'm hoping I get shot in the foot and get sent home with a medal I can use to pick up women. Shot in the foot with a medal to pick up women? Is that all? I'm not even surprised. I'm really not. Even if I hadn't seen the rest of RVB and over a fact who they would have chosen. Chicks dig a warrior. Some human age detecting machine? Anyway, the charges were dropped and it wasn't that big a deal. Despite what I feel like Tucker is like... Well, I think we have our man. Oh my god. Oh no, my audio crapped out. No, no, no. So I backed up a little bit, so sorry about that. My audio just crapped out and I couldn't hear what they were saying. Anyway, the charges were dropped and it wasn't that big a deal, despite what the media said. <laughs> well, I think we have our man. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Lavernius Tucker. Aboard what? Wait, what is this an interview for? I'll see you in a few weeks. Energy. Thanks for your time. Time to go, Private. No, seriously, where the fuck are we going? <laughs> All right, let's see how our reds. Oh my word. Oh god, what happened? Oh my god. Well, I think that went pretty well. What did you do? <laughs> Special Officer Lemons! How was our performance, sir? How did this happen? I I, I gave you all rubber bullets! Oh, was that intentional? That was under the assumption you'd simply provided us with the wrong ammunition. Why would you even assume that? Well, you gave us a real bomb to defuse. <laughs> He's younger there, sir. <laughs> Who doesn't love a good live fire training? <laughs> I'm fairly certain all of the soldiers you killed. Oh no, 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 we were all in agreement. Oh, yeah. McGruff seemed real gung-ho about the whole idea. God rest his soul. So, have you decided which of us is being promoted? Which of you, which of you is... I, I honestly don't know. You're, you're both equally insane. Hmm. Then perhaps it should be up to us oh God. to forward. Oh God. Yes. A fitting resolution, if I may say so myself. You may. Well, my father, his father, and his father before him have all been exceptional military leaders. Oh Admirable. But tradition doesn't win wars. It takes strength, intelligence, gonna kill him. and the will to survive. Gentlemen, I, I don't think we can base our decision He's... on... Well, if it's strength and intelligence you're looking for, I've got it in droves. I'm only hearing two out of three, Dagger Knife. But me? Uh, I've got the full package. Guys, no, <laughs> the package is secured. Until this war is won. Fighting is one thing, but would you die for this army? Of course I Oh my war. god. Talk is cheap. I couldn't agree more. Then what are you going to do about it, Dagger Knife? Oh my god. Uh, I thought he'd call him a bluff on that one. Looks like he's the man for the job 
Oh my god. Congratulations, Hank Daggerknife. I salute you. Oh my god. He he's dead. He's fucking he dead. Guess the job goes to me. Thank you, process of elimination. <laughs> You're crazy. You're all fucking crazy. Hey, do not disrespect the fallen soldiers of this army. <laughs> soldiers? You're psychopaths. Insubordination. What? As a oh my god. Sergeant, He's gonna kill him. For such behavior. No rich soldier would ever speak so lowly of their fallen brethren. Unless you weren't red. Sarge. Oh my god. Uh, you're not making any sense. Oh my god. Oh, that's where you're, wrong, you're kidding me, right? For the first time today, everything makes perfect sense. Oh my god. Oh my god. Sarge. What? You're as blue as Dagger Knife is dead. Uh, Agent Florida, I've got a scratch down here. Thank you, Special <laughs> Officer <laughs> Lemons. You have found us the perfect red lead. Oh my god. Wait, 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 please. That one's for Dagger Knife. Dirt bag. Welcome to the roster, Sarge. Oh my god. Hello? If anyone from command is watching, I've completed the final test. I've killed Lemons. I'm ready for my promotion now! Can he not see that the guy's blue? Hello? Now all that's left is one final piece. Oh. Is this another test? <laughs> <laughs> to be concluded, oh. Those buckshot's still alive! Nope, he's dead! He just eat around the buckshot. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. So, I think Sarge thinks that the Red Army is actually the Hunger Games, considering how that went. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this entire video is just me with my mouth open watching in pure astonishment at the red gloriousness that is Sarge. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and then they had a blue team show up. I want to know what happened to candidates one and three, the really, really, really good listener, and the one who was actually probably supposed to be in a real military. I am so glad that season 14 is a thing. I had some concerns when they first announced it, but they are gone. I am so pleased. <laughs> so anyway, thanks for tuning in. Comment what you thought. If the, vol if the volume works good, if I should have it louder or quieter, if I should find a way to fix my microphone or get a PC soon. Uh, as for videos, they'll probably be a little bit later just because con is in 10 days. Yeehaw. And I have to finish all of my cosplays. All of them. Same for Emily. So we're kind of, we're probably going to do a stream that's just us laying on the floor screaming and working until either one or both of us passes out. So get ready for that. It's just going to be us memeing around on the floor working. So <laughs> um, I'm going to be putting up some stuff about Yang and then some actually some exciting news about my photographer and I and what we've been doing behind closed doors or rather out of town um if you guys have any questions just hit me up on twitter or instagram or tumblr or whatever you can find me as termia literally everywhere um even on the rt site but yeah you guys should let me know if you want to see more of these which so far you guys have but just thank you so much for all the feedback it is a lot of fun these are a lot of fun i'm glad i'm actually able to do these and thank you guys for 50 subscribers again because it's really cool because like we post things on the internet and like like 50 people if not more see them and it's like holy shit just wavy hand gesture that's how impressive this is so thank you guys for tuning in let me know if there's any cosplay tutorials or cosplays you want to see lately and i saw the comment i will be doing one on wigs eventually but considering con is in 10 days i'm a little bit rushed so probably in between that convention and rtx and as soon as i get hotel details finalized uh, Emily and I will be letting you guys know about where we're going to be at RTX, who we're going to be cosplaying, what panels we'll probably be at so you guys can try to find us. Please say hi. That'd be so cool to say hi to people who watch our videos. Um, and I may actually be streaming later today. So until then, love you. I really don't. Get out of my face, please. <laughs>